And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the lineup today in People's, on People's Day at the Echo. We have the Terrier Group. So each of the do dogs have been judged now by Julio. They've been assessed and decided upon. The Airedale was the first of the judging that, that Kari had put up this morning. Julio has gone through and prejudged each of the breeds. And now he's just running through and having a final look. The Australian Terrier exhibit 1423 came out of the open class. And now the Border Terrier is coming in. Exhibit 1443. It's from the, it's a bitch from the intermediate class. Now we have the Bull Terrier, Exhibit 1451, a dog from the open class. And the miniature bull terrier exhibit 1456. It's is a bitch from the junior class. And the can terrier. This is the best. So here we go. The can terrier exhibit 1461. A dog from the open class. Another British breed. And for a now the Manchester Terrier, exhibit 1470, from the a bitch from the Australian bred class. And the Scottish Terrier, Exhibit 1484, a bitch from the open class. Now ready to, to run the floor is the Sealyham Terrier. It's 1486. This is a little bitch from the junior class. Said to be a great choice of breed if you're thinking of getting into terriers. It's a lovely breed of dog to live with, lots of personality. Next in line is the Sky Terrier, exhibit 1487. It's a dog from the intermediate class. Another Terrier breed with a long term history, with some Spanish influence happening there.
setting up the soft coated wheat and terrier exhibit 1490 it's a dog from the intermediate class Mark by very distinctive soft coat and we can colour Next, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, exhibit 1500, a dog from the open class. Next, the West Highland White Terrier, exhibit 1512, a dog from the Australian bred class. Now we have the American Staffordshire Terrier, exhibit 1522, a dog from the open class. And the Bedlington Terrier, exhibit 1530. It's a dog from the open class. This is another very effective bucking dog. With a very distinctive linting coat. Now the Dandy Dinmont Terrier, 1534. A dog from the Australian bred class. Getting Danny Dinmont being a character in a Walter Scott novel. So we've got all sorts of influences in our, in our terrier world, including literary influences. Next up we've got the Fox Terrier. Now we have the smooth. Fox Terrier Smooth, exhibit 1543. 1543 is a dog from the open class. But they adjust to family living, whether it's with a young family or an older retired couple. And of course, with this coat, very easy to maintain. Next in there. If you want more information about any of these terrier breeds, have a chat to the exhibitors or after showing. Or Here's the Fox Terrier Wire. Exhibit 1557. It's a dog out of the Australian bred class. Obviously, we just saw the wire, and we saw the wire, and before we saw the smooth coat. Similar, similar, similar characteristics. And the very popular Jack Now the Jack Russell Terrier, Terrier exhibit 1.562. It's a dog out of the open class. Young children, lots of very active lifestyle. Very smart little dog. And we have Helen from the county of Kerry. Now the Kerry Blue Terrier, exhibit 1571. A dog from the open class. With this very distinctive blue coat. Another very smart terrier on the move, as you can see here. It takes quite a lot of work to present a dog like this in show condition. So now we have the Tenterfield Terrier, exhibit 1578. Another dog from the open class. 
the mini proxies were not a recognised breed, but they're certainly behind this little fella. And this is a breed that actually... And the last dog in the lineup today is the Welsh Terrier, exhibit 1587, another dog from the open class. Another smart terrier dog, medium size, small to medium size, that hails from Wales. So we've got a very strong British influence here with our terrier group. A few Australian breeds here too. A judge has individually examined all of these uh, breed winners. So who's going to be the best in the terrier group? Next up, we're going to have the, the babies being judged, the babies in the terrier group, so we'd like them to be moving through to the assembly area. So our judge from Panama, Mr. Julio Ronco, is doing a walkthrough. He's judged a number of these breeds and the others he's done the pre-judging exercise just before. And a big thank you, we've got wonderful sponsors here at the Bismarck. We've got Black Hawk as a major sponsor. We've got guide dogs for the uh, blind. It's great to have this continuing sponsorship and of course Plush Puppy is another main sponsor. So, it's up to me now to announce the best in group winner. And I'm happy to say it is the Fox Terrier Smooth 1543. The Fox Terrier Smooth 1543 is out of the open class. So we'll now see the, the runner up of breed returning. And now the runner up best of breed. Exhibit 1539. This is a dog from the intermediate class is taking its place. So the runner up in group will be the next award. And the Staffy, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, 
will be your runner-up in group. Ex exhibit number 1500, also from the open class.